Hey, and welcome back to the Emlyn in the Mix YouTube channel. We've got a super exciting release here from Cherry Audio. It is the Mercury 6. Cherry Audio's Mercury 6 has just dropped. I'm just going to read a little bit back here and then we're going to go to a live demo. I'll have a timeline down below if you want to just skip along to me playing it and just hearing the sounds that we're going to show off today. But let me just read a little bit back here from Cherry Audio about the Mercury 6. So basically, it is a meticulous recreation of the Jupiter 6 analog polyphonic synthesizer initially released in 1983 and released after the flagship 8 voice Jupiter 8 and I'm actually wearing I'm wearing the Jupiter 8 t-shirt I did wear it today but it was a little cold there it is there Jupiter 8 which was released in 1981 uh, basically the Mercury 6 was a more affordable alternative the six voice Jupiter 6 and it's become one of the most coveted classic Roland analog polysynths of all time um, and though similar in appearance and feature set so it did look a lot like the Jupiter 8 the Jupiter 6 sounded considerably different from the Jupiter 8 and the most significant part here, and I'm just reading this back of course for you guys, is that the Jupiter 6, this is interesting though, featured a true multi-mode filter with low pass, high pass and band pass modes and the filter design had a more aggressive sound than the previous Jupiters making the Jupiter 6 a natural for cutting edge techno and electro styles which was sort of just bubbling and just sort of starting up at that time. You know techno was in its infancy and if you think about mid or even early 80s by the 90s techno was really taken off right. So it was also notable for being one of the first synthesizers to implement and demonstrate the MIDI protocol and one of the first analog polys with a split keyboard mode. So it has lots of bells and whistles, absolutely a lot of fun. And as is traditional with Cherry Audio's bells and whistles, of course, the Mercury 6 maintains the distinctive features and sonic character of the classic that inspired it and adds even more for today's music production environment. So they've expanded the split mode and added a second layer capable of huge stack sounds. And this thing sounds stacked. Trust me on that. And the polyphony extends to 16 notes. Mercury 6 won't easily run out of voices like the original. They've also introduced a flexible integrated effects panel, which I'll show you in this video. And is also, check this out, it's loaded with over 500 expertly designed sound presets. All right, let's just jump over to our live demo and let's get it up here. It's over here in the corner. Let's bring it over. Here we go. Here's this beast here, Mercury 6. I'll try not to cover up too many of the controls so you can see them there. Lovely. Now, I actually haven't got the default preset. I've actually, I was going through the presets before I did this video. I like this one here, Digital Plucks. And I think the main thing I guess I want to show you is just sort of navigate around this synthesizer because even if you're not familiar with this synthesizer, it's pretty easy to sort of just get in there and start creating sounds. So I've got this preset here. It's an arpeggio at the moment. So it's like this. So even if you didn't know much about synthesis, you can start messing around. Now you've got this focus mode up the top here. If I click on that, it's gonna take me right into the, see all the parameters up nice and close. So let me just show you like me just mucking around how much I can alter this sound, you ready? Pop the LFO in faster. Change its waveform. I like this one. Here we can fat it up, fatten it up with the pulse width. Change it down an octave. You know, you can just really, like it sort of teaches you about synthesis as well. 
Because here you go, your two VCOs, the layouts. Actually, I just want to mention the layout's quite different from most modern synths. Usually the LFO is at the back end, but they've got the LFO at the top, which is kind of cool. The pulse width really fattens up the sound. It sounds really good. You've got your mixer, your two VCOs here, and then we get over to the voltage control filter here. And this is what they said in that write-up if you're listening back. This was the main difference between the Jupiter 8 and the Mercury, the more affordable Mercury 6 hardware. So you got these beautiful filters with huge resonance. And quite aggressive, you know. And then you've got your envelope one and two over here for each VCO. And then if we move down, you've got your layers. Here you can add drift, which adds layer drift, tune, pan, volume, glide here. And you can change the time, change the rate of our arpeggio. Change the way the arpeggio goes up or down up and down or random, your voices, unison, detune, we've really messed this sound up here, and chord memory here, and hold, which is like a latch basically. Okay, so it's actually really ridiculous fun, it's almost as if I have the hardware in front of me and I'm just messing around and just creating my own sounds. Obviously, I started with a preset here, but that's what I like to do. I like to find a preset and then I like to mess with it. Now, obviously, this part here, the effects section, this wasn't on the original like this where you could just click on, for example, distort here, can enable that. Phaser. Turn the flanger off, delay. And then you got your global effects as well. Wow, listen to that delay decay. All right, let's go back, zoom back out. You've got your pitch bend and so forth down here, expression, LFO2 down the bottom here. So it looks like everything goes through and then it goes to a second LFO at the very end of the chain. Super interesting layer. I'm actually, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not familiar with this layer at all. I sort of missed all the Jupiters and the Mercury Roland classic analog synthesizers a little bit before my time. But I have to say just, you know, knowing the small amount that I do about synthesis and playing with this Mercury 6, it's really refreshing because it's like, I'm sort of, I'm, it's, I'm still learning of course, but it's, it's, different yet familiar i don't know how to explain it but it's like it's intuitive even though this looks overwhelming it's actually super intuitive because you can just see where everything is how the chain works for the signal and how it's getting affected all right i hope that you know explains it honestly if i was you and you got this the mercury 6 i would just play with it and like I'd pull up a preset like I did and just play with all the parameters, change things, experiment, and you'll get a sound that's so interesting and unique. There's not a lot that this particular instrument cannot reproduce or sound like. And I'll show you that right now because check out these presets. We'll just go through. I'll go to all presets, for example. Check these out, like Seven Moon. Let's have a, this is a pad. I mean, there's a, an amazing preset for you just there. Bold Brass. So if you want to do like an 80s pop song. You know what I mean? Uh, let's go jump into, click on our presets. This is all our presets here. We'll just choose some at random now. A new age, maybe a pad. Let's have a listen. Strings. Slightly detuned. 
put the pulse width on it. Sounds mega eight is that one. Ooh. Can you get some really interesting far out sounds? That was advanced race. Let's do a Peggio bass. I mean, how much fun is that? I was just literally playing with the range on VCO2 and then just messing with the VCF filter. It is an aggressive sounding filter. It sounds fantastic. All right, I don't know. Let's just go. I'm just choosing it at random. There's no way I'm going to be able to show you 500 presets in this tiny video I plan to do. But anyway, it gives you a taste, doesn't it? Nice little arpeggio there. Cousin of Bubba. Dynasty pad. Thick, juicy, warm pads. You're gonna get them. You're gonna get them in the Mercury 6, that's for sure. Early 80s bass. Here we go, let's go down. That sounds really warm, actually, without the attack. Galactic Lullaby. Let's have a listen to Galactic Lullaby. Anyway, you get the idea. You can just get in there. If you're not happy with that sound, you can just start moving it. Like literally just changing up. This is the most presets I've seen on any particular synth, soft synth instrument in a long time. This is so crazy. Whoa. Oh, this is a split. There we go. Anyway, you can have fun with those splits as well. We can jump over just to the splits. These are all the splits here. All right, just gonna find the split hanging. There it is. All right, ready?
<laughs> anyway, you can have fun with those splits as I've just shown you. Look, there is not a lot of sounds that this beautiful replicated Mercury 6 cannot reproduce in software form again. Hands down to Cherry Audio. Everything they do turns to gold and this is no exception. The Mercury 6 there. Check this amazing, look at this GUI. Even this GUI is amazing. It's got your vector base as well. You can make it massive. You can't even tell though that I'm doing that. Actually, that gives you an idea of how big I can make it because you can see my door there. It's tiny and then boom. But my screen's huge, which you cannot really get the gist of in this video, I guess. I've got a massive screen. And that fills up my whole freaking screen. That is mental. Anyway, the Mercury 6, what an amazing, amazing replication here. Reproduction that Cherry Auto have done in software form. Hands down, just incredible work, Cherry Auto, incredible work. Again, I'm not familiar with the hardware, but I can see how the people that are, are going to be just absolutely delighted with this software synthesizer. Well done. I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much for joining me today. Leave a like if you liked this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And before you go, if you're still watching this, then you deserve to notice because I'm actually doing a little giveaway, which I'll put a link down below where you can win Emergent Drum software valued at $149. Click on that link below. If you're still watching this video, then you deserve to have a chance to enter because you are a true fan for sticking to the end. Anyway, that competition may be ended as well. If you're watching this video in the future, it's only one month competition. So I apologize if the competition's already over. All right, I digress. I'm talking on too long now. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, peace out guys. Boom.